Hey everybody, it's Guy with that Kilty Guy videos here on YouTube. And today what we're gonna do is a little quick tip about popcorn ceilings. I put out a previous video about how to remove popcorn ceilings. I've walked you through all the steps. We showed you how to mask it off, scrape it, sand it, texture it, and so on. Today what we're gonna talk about is an alternative method that you might have seen on YouTube. People out there say you can just sand this stuff off. Well, occasionally you can. Today is one of those days, and I'm going to show you how that works right after this. Okay, everybody, thanks for stopping by again. And as always, I appreciate you guys stopping by my channel here. Where here at that Kilter Guy videos, it's my goal to empower you to do your own home repairs yourself, save money, and have pride in workmanship. And we're going to show you how to do it right. If you like what we do, be sure and subscribe. At the end of the video, there's a link down below. You'll see a little animation here. And there's also good information in the description down at the bottom where we've got links to our website, our store where you can pick up supplies to do this stuff, and so on. But now let's get into that video. What we're gonna talk about today is just the fact that I've seen videos out there that say, don't go to all that trouble of scraping it off with water and all that, just sand it off. Well, I will tell you from experience, I've done probably 500 of these, and out of that percentage, only maybe one to 5% at the most could have been sanded off, and that's because it's usually painted. Once they've painted it, sanders do not like to sand latex paint. They gum up, they don't sand well, etc. But if you get one like this, it hasn't been painted or it hasn't been painted much. Like one coat of paint, you might still be able to sand it off. Then it is a cleaner method. It's not gonna make near as much wet mess on the floor. And if you use a setup like I've got here, I'm using my Porter Cable drywall sander with a dust deputy attachment. And I've got a separate video about how well that works. It will trap pretty much everything that goes in there, but because of the aggressive nature of what we're doing, we're sanding with, I think this is a 25 grit, I believe. We've got this really coarse grit paper, and I can't read it anymore, but I think it's 25 grit. These cost like $80 for a 10 pack, so there's the other drawback to doing it this way. But they are very aggressive, they will get it done. But because of that, it's going to throw some stuff off to the side, so a little bit is going to get past it. But I'd say we're going to trap about 90 to 95% of what we sand. I'm going to show you a little clip, if I can find it on my computer, of where I tried to sand a job that had been painted. And they had painted this one spot they repaired, whereas beside it, it wasn't so painted. And you'll see where I could sand over here, but when I hit the painted spot, it did not touch it. So don't always just take everything you see on the internet as true. It just varies with the situation. So if you want to know if it'll sand, go up and scrape it with your hand. If you can knock it off easily with your hand, it'll probably sand. Then take a dry scraper and if it'll scrape off fairly easy, it'll probably sand. And I'll show you that too because if you don't have the sander, if it's like this one is, you may be able to just dry scrape most of it and that'll save you that mess too. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this back on here and show you how that sands, and then I'm gonna show you how you can scrape it also, and we'll go from there. Okay, that's all the sanding I'm gonna do because you can see that it does come off pretty well when it's like this. And here's the alternative method, which is the same scraper I used for the wet scraping. It's just a 10 inch knife that we, we actually have clamps under here, hose clamps, so it's on here good and sturdy, but uh, we had to put some duct tape on it to tighten it up a little bit. And we just put it on a paint pole, whatever you got that'll reach up there. And then you should be able to just scrape. Right. 
So you can see that it'll dry scrape too. The disadvantage to this is simply that now you gotta sweep it up off the floor. But if you don't have this thousand dollar sander or you don't wanna rent it, which you can usually rent these pretty inexpensively. But if you don't wanna do that, hey, this will get it done and it'll get it done just fine. So hey, I hope I helped you out with that little tip today. And if it did, if you like what we showed you, be sure and give us a thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel and click that bell icon. And check out our link um, description in the... And check out our information in the description down below. But until next time, you guys take care and I'll see you on the next video.